Hey, what's up everyone? Sam Fernandez here. Hopefully you guys are all doing good and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the top three compound exercises that I like to incorporate in my shoulder workouts. And I definitely recommend that you give them a try. So let's go. So by compound exercises, what do I mean? I mean exercises that work the entirety of a certain muscle group, like for shoulders, all the presses that I'm gonna talk about are compound exercises, meaning that they target both the lateral, the meaning the side, the front, and the rear deltoid at the same time. So that also means that you can go a little bit heavier than normal on these exercises. But my top three compound exercises are as follows. The first one is gonna be the front military Smith press. Now this exercise I've used for a lot of years already, but I feel like it's very, very effective for building size. And I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers on it before we begin. The first one is that you wanna make sure that the bench is right in the center of the Smith area. Because at least for me, I definitely feel like whenever I'm a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, the weight is a little bit offset and it kind of gets me a little bit out of groove when, when I'm pressing, especially when it's a little bit heavy. So I wanna make sure that the weight or that the bench is right in the middle so that I'm pressing the weight evenly and I don't feel so out of sync with it. So that's tip number one. Also tip number two, you wanna focus on making sure that the seat is completely upright. You don't wanna have the seat like angled too much because then you're gonna start working out the top part of your pecs and we don't wanna focus on that, not today. We wanna focus on shoulders. So you wanna keep that seat as upright as possible so that we're pressing completely straight above our heads. All right, focus on the shoulders. The last tip is that when you have the seat in place and it's upright, you're gonna to wanna to unhook the bar. So that's the way that this Smith press works. It's hooked on for safety and it's on these two racks which I really do like because you don't gotta worry about balancing the weight. But whenever you start to go into the exercise, you wanna make sure that your wrists are a little bit back so that when you press the weight up, you can flick your wrist forward a little bit with the bar into the position that you want. And now the bar is engaged. And now you can go up and down, up and down. And then whenever you're done with the exercise, you press it all the way up to its position that you wanna rack it up at. And, make, and then you just gotta flick your wrist back and then the hooks will go back and then it'll, they'll hook up and then you're good to go. Okay, so the second compound exercise that I wanna talk about is gonna be the reverse military Smith press. Now for this exercise, it is a little bit trickier than the front military Smith press, mostly because the positioning is a little bit awkward. It's definitely not something that you're used to with bringing weight behind your head like this and then pushing it up. It definitely hurts a little bit on your shoulders if you already have shoulder problems to begin with. So if you do have such conditions, I recommend you skip to the next compound exercise that I will be talking about. But if you're okay with this exercise and your shoulders are good, then keep watching this because this is a very good exercise for building the roundness and thickness in your shoulders. So for the reverse military Smith press, you wanna make sure that you're seated a little bit in front of the bar so that you can comfortably come down and up with it right behind your head. But you gotta be far in front enough so that you don't hit your head either. So just keep that in mind. So when you start the exercise, it's gonna be just like the front military Smith press. You're gonna wanna start with unhooking the, the bar, you know, keep your wrist back a little bit and then push forward or push up and then flick your wrist forward a little bit and then you're engaged. And you wanna keep your body, your torso as straight as possible. Okay, so the third and final exercise that I want to talk about is going to be the dumbbell press. The dumbbell press, unlike the Smith press, you have to focus on balancing the weight. It's free weight, so just be careful about that. Make sure that you try to go in line with your ears all the way up, almost touching them at the top because the more contraction that you get at the top, the better. And then nice and easy on the way down, 90 degrees, and then press straight up again where they're almost touching at the top, right above your head, and then come back down. Again, try to keep this as controlled as possible. Uh, the weight is gonna is gonna try to you know go forward or sideways, whatever, because it is free weight. So try to balance it as best as you can. And once you get the hang of it with a little bit of practice, 
your balancing muscles start to kick in and you don't really got to focus too much on balancing it it just it's just as easy as the as a smith press you just go up down up down up down but once you get to that point it is a very very effective exercise to build and strengthen your shoulders so I hope that this little walkthrough kind of helped you out to understand a little bit more about why these exercises are good for building and strengthening your shoulders. You should definitely give them a try. I feel like there's not really many compound exercises for shoulders out there other than the machines or like standing barbell, but that's even harder um, for you guys to do if you want to build some bigger and stronger shoulders. So thanks for watching and then catch you guys in the next one.